Hi, I'm Matt Sell. I'm the brook trout specialist for Maryland DNR Inland Fisheries. Today we're on the Savage River collecting some fish as part of an ongoing movement study that we initiated in the spring of 2010. This project, uh, it, was, it was initiated as a result of both some, well, numerous angler reports as well as uh, yeah, our sampling efforts. Uh, and what we were seeing was a lot of large adult brook trout uh, showing up here in the put and take area uh, and we've had angry reports of fellas saying some of the nicer fish they're actually catching uh, were the brook trout uh, as opposed to the stockfish, the rainbows. So uh, we got a little money together and purchased some radio tags so that we could uh, collect a couple of fish here in the main stem, put a radio tag in them and, and track them year round to see where they go, when they go there, how long they stay there, if they come back. Uh, answering all those questions and uh, last spring we started the study uh, by backpack electric fishing and what we found was with the higher flows in the spring the colder water the fish tend to congregate in the deeper pools um, it just wasn't effective uh, we were struggling to even collect a fish let alone a fish big enough to tag so uh, you hear all the angler information all the angler reports about catching these fish we decided Maybe we'll just go out and try to hook and line them. So that's uh, that's why we're out here. That's why we're fly fishing for work. I, uh, uh, today's the kind of day that I love my job, no doubt about it. Yeah, this water temperature has been, at night it's been dropping down darn near freezing, about 30, 32 and a half, 33 degrees. And around about 10 or 11 when the sun gets on it, it's warming up and it's climbing up into the up. The last few days it's been up into the upper 30s and that's what's triggering the hatches to start and it's like clockwork. About 11, 11 o'clock to noon the trout really start to get active keying in on these bugs. And that fish is, uh, he's close to being tied one. Really? Yeah. We have the fish in what I call the knockout bucket, and all I'm gonna do is add some uh, clove oil to the bucket, which will anesthetize the fish. Add about a milliliter in there. Stir it up. All right, we're gonna take a length on the fish. This fish is 249 millimeters. Uh, he meets the length requirement of nine and a half inches. Um, the fish, based on length weight conversions, have to be nine and a half inches to keep the tag below two percent of the body weight, which is the uh, accepted value in the literature. So. All right, this is the tag that we're going to be putting into the fish. It's a completely internal tag. Uh, here's the battery. This is the actual coiled antenna inside the tag. Uh, there's a magnet on there right now. This is the frequency that the tag will emit. The magnet has the, the tag basically turned off so you don't kill your battery. And now that the, the magnet's removed, uh, it'll start to chirp. And if you get it near near the receiver, that chirping sound saying the tag's working fine. There you are. Okay, this fish is ready to tag. He's uh, totally knocked out. Uh, we're gonna put him on this sponge. It'll help to protect him during the uh, tagging process. And basically we're gonna come down just off the uh, ventral midline and make an incision roughly three quarters of an inch long. I'm going to take the tag out of the disinfectant, insert the tag into the hole, slide the tag in, just like so. Kind of work it in so it finds its, finds its place. Now we'll stitch him up. Clip it, and he goes from here into the recovery bucket. And while he's still a bit loopy, I have my scissors, and I'll go ahead and take him out. This is the adipose fin on the back of the fish. It's a useless fatty appendage, um, nothing but fat tissue. We're going to take this, clip it off, so that now the fish no longer has an adipose fin that way you can tell that he's tagged and we can take this fin clip now and we'll stick it into the vial with ethanol 
and we'll get our genetic information from the fish this way. So, there's the sutures. Everything seems to be holding fine. Uh, it's closed up nicely. Everything looks good. Fish looks healthy. And we'll lay it in the river here. Gone. She's happy to be free. Yes.